All right, welcome back to part two of zipping files in Python. We're gonna do a little more advanced things in this video. If you didn't watch the first one, zip files in Python, how to do that. We also extract files in Python uh, from a zip file. Be sure to check that out. That way you don't miss anything and you're up to speed with what we do in this video because we're going to add on to that. If you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing. That way you don't miss any videos in the future. And yeah, I think that's it. Without further ado, Let's just hop into it. So this is what we did last time. We have the script.txt, which is the entire script of Interstellar. We put it into a script.zip file, and it compressed that file and made it smaller. And we also wrote, as part of our Python script, a piece that extracts things from that script.zip and brings back the script.txt file. But in this video, the scenario is a little bit different. If you see here in my file explorer, we have a new directory called my stuff. And inside of this directory is a few different files. We have test one, which is a bunch of nonsense, test two, which is also just a bunch of nonsense, and test3.sql, I just wanted to show a different file type. It's just a select statement. And what I want to do in this scenario is I want to take everything in this my stuff directory and zip it up in its own zip file. So let's exit from all these now. Let's go back to our main.py and let's also exit these. And instead of the file to zip, it's not any longer going to be a single text file. It's going to be things in this directory. So maybe we can change this to directory to zip and instead of script.txt, it's just going to be my stuff, this relative path here. And then what we can do is use another module called pathlib. So import pathlib or path library. And then down below, let's go ahead and create a variable called folder, which is equal to pathlib.path. And what we can pass into the constructor here is the directory to the file we want to zip stuff in. So I'll pass this uh, directory to zip into the constructor. So what this now allows us to do is list out everything in this directory with a for loop. So we can do for file in folder dot iterder which is a method. And here we can just print file.name. And if we run this, there we go. It printed out everything in that directory. But if we don't show the name property, let's just show file and run that instead. This will spit out the paths of those files. So now that we have an understanding on what we're doing here, I'm going to uncomment the writing portion that we showed off in the last video. So. So what this is going to do, it's going to create a new zip file with the path that we give it. And let's change the name of the zip file to the same as before. It's just going to be my stuff.zip. And so we have a writer now, and inside we're going to put our for loop that we constructed earlier. Instead of printing, we're going to write. And you remember how I said when we just print the file, uh, and not the file.name, it shows us the whole path. We're going to use that to our advantage and pass in that path to the zip.write method. And now it's going to take that path and write that file to this new zip file. So I'll comment out this part now because we don't want to see that again. We already know what it does. And we'll run this one more time. And now we have a new mystuff.zip. If I go ahead and just reveal in the file explorer, we can take a closer look. Here's mystuff.zip. We have my stuff and then all of the files contained in that my stuff directory. So that might be what we want, and that might not be what we want, because we have that same directory, my stuff, inside of the my stuff.zip. What if we just want the files inside of my stuff to go into the my stuff.zip? So I'm going to delete this zip directory, and let's add one more parameter to this write called arc name. And it's short for archive name. It's just going to be the name of the file being written to that zip file. So file.name is going to be that value. And now if we run this, and if we look now in the mystuff.zip, we have the individual files. Notice we don't have that mystuff file anymore with these contained inside of it in that zip file. So it's a little more clean this way. And then if we comment out this same as before, if we want to do the opposite and extract everything in that zip file, we can continue using the extract all because that's going to extract everything found in the past in zip file. And let's just run this again. And notice now in our explorer, all of those test files from that mystuff.zip are now thrown into this directory here. So that's all I wanted to show in this particular video. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully it answered any questions you had. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you in a future video.